Good morning, my name is Jonathan Cavan of Cavan Farms in Virginia. Today I'd like to take you on a day in the life of our farm. We are a diversified operation raising beef cattle, broccoli and cabbage, and burley tobacco. This morning we're highlighting our broccoli operation. We're actually on a broccoli harvest. Broccoli on our farm is harvested manually with each worker walking the rows to select the, uh, the crown that is ready to be harvested. We determine this both by size and by the feel of the head, make sure it's a solid firm head. To give you an idea of what each crown size is, we roughly cut crowns the size of a volleyball. The worker cuts the crown from the plant and removing all the, any, any leaves and, uh, and gets the stalk shaped into a, a form where we can manage it as it goes into our grading facility. By removing all the leaves and everything in, in the field, it, it also places organic material back in the field that could be used for later crops. In our grading facility, we uh, we grade the product both to the specifications that our buyer prefers and wants. We also check to make sure there are no leaves in the head in the crown, and we trim any of the any of the spurs off the, the stalk to get the, the stalk in a good smooth position. Um, all. The product are weighed in 20 pound cases. The cases are, are wax boxes that are uh, able to stay in a cool and it's able to stay in a uh, wet room to keep the product fresh. We put a label of origin on each box to tell where the box came from. And we also track through a grower number through, uh, through the stores we use. After we get done grading the product, we uh, stage it into a location and we're packaging the, uh, the broccoli. What most people don't realize is that broccoli is packed on ice. We place one bag of ice in the bottom of the boxes and then we nestle the product in those boxes. And with that in mind, we also put two, box, two bags of ice roughly on top of, the, uh, on top of the product to keep it cold in transport and to keep it fresh in transport to where we take it from our farm to our, uh, to our buyer who then places it in their coolers to uh, send to their stores. So the whole key is to trying to keep the product cool and uh, on our truck to get to their truck. 